Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I've got this easy, you are amazing, birthday card to share with you. Let's get started. For our birthday card, we're going to use the You Are Amazing stamp set. This is in the January to June Stampin' Up! mini catalog, and it coordinates with the You Are Amazing card kit. And of course, you can use the stamp set outside of the card kit. So I've got a piece of basic white, and this is cut about uh, three and a quarter by four and a quarter and my stamp and my Coastal Cabana ink pad. And looks like I need to ink up my Coastal Cabana ink pad. So we're just going to take a minute and tap on more. Okay, line this up and give this a press and a rub all over. Okay, there's our sentiment. Let's close up my ink pad. And then I'm going to step off camera for a moment and use the Hippo and Friends dies. These are in the annual catalog to cut out my sentiment. Now you don't have to like hippos or unicorns or any of the other animals in this set, but the labels dies and these two ribbon slots are totally worth purchasing this. Okay, I've used the Hippo and Friends dies to cut our sentiment. You can see it's got a little stitched edge along with the nice shape. And then I've also cut a piece of Playing With Patterns designer paper with the same die so that we create a frame for this piece. And before die cutting, I added it to a piece of basic white. This piece measures three and a quarter by four. And then I have another coordinating piece of the Playing With Patterns designer paper, and it's cut at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and we're going to layer that on a piece of Coastal Cabana that measures four by five and a quarter. So let's add some multi-purpose glue to this designer paper piece. And adhere that, and we've got a nice small mat then on it. Now the designer paper is from the annual catalog, if I did not already mention that. And I want to add some dimensionals to the back of this piece. And then I want to bring my ribbon in before we adhere this. And I've got the Playing With Patterns Ribbon Combo Pack. That's the Navy, Coastal Cabana, and the Purple Posy. We're going to use this Coastal Cabana ribbon. And as you can see, it's a little stiff, but the, we're going to soften it by running it across our bone folder. And then it the texture is uh, a little easier to work with, but I like this kind of um, threaded slub that's in this sheer ribbon. Gives it nice detail. So let's wrap this front and back and pull enough of it around. And before we go any further, I'm going to take my take your pick and pop a couple of glue dots on here. And that will just hold the this piece that's going to run across the back nice and even so that I'm not pulling against it because we don't want to cause our layer to, um, to bow because of tying it. Okay. And then let's loop this around. Whoop. 
I've got my loose end tucked into the end that's still on the spool. And yes, I do like to work directly from the spool. Okay. And I'd rather tie it with um, ends that are too long than cut it off and then not have enough to, to work with. So that's probably a little too exuberant for the space that we have to fill, but we'll check that in a minute. And before adding it, I want to add one more glue dot in here, and then we'll finish with glue dots after I'm sure how much ribbon we're going to use. Okay, let's move that out of the way and go ahead and add this to our layer here. And we just want to center this piece. I think I'm straight. Okay, let's bring our card base in before we go any further. And it's thick basic white. And I've got a piece of the Playing With Patterns paper that I cut um, as I trimmed my piece and this is about an eighth inch wide. I love to keep all these little off cuts. They're perfect for adding to the inside of a card like this. So let's move that up so that it's straight and just place this nearish the bottom so that we've got a little stripe of color in here. And then we'll come along and use our paper snips and cut this off. It's much easier to remove a little bit of overhang than it is to fix a piece that you've cut too short. Okay, and then let's bring dimensionals back in here. all of these off. And let's straighten up the card base. Oops, I'm going to be too far left if I'm not careful. So check your top and two sides and then adhere. And before I fix the bow, I'm going to add my sentiment piece here. And then we'll do the final adjustment on the bow. Now I am going to add double stacks on the top and bottom here, but not on the sides as I think this ribbon is going to push up that area of my sentiment. So let's hold it down a moment and make sure that we're inside the frame. Oh, I forgot to pull the backing off of this one. No wonder it won't stick. And I did the same thing at the top. Oh my. Let's try that again now that I have all the backing bits off. Okay, and straighten out our ribbon here. And then let's tidy this up a little bit now that we know exactly what we're working with. Okay, he wants to go this way. We can do that. Let's turn this and make that happen. Sometimes the ribbon tells us which way 
that bow is going to be. And this is one of those days. There we go. Okay. And now let's, it's just a smidge long there. Let's cut that at an angle. And then let's embellish. So I'm going to move a couple things out of the way here. And to embellish, we're going to use the playing with patterns and resin dots. I don't know if you've noticed the um, coordination here of, of today's products. We're just going to stick that one down there. And let me move these out of the way. And then finally, I want to bring my glue dots back in. And I'm going to stick one right behind our bow here to keep it from twisting. It'll just neaten it up just a little bit. And may stick another one in there since this is a stiffer ribbon. Oops. And there we go, our You Are Amazing birthday card. Thanks for stopping in. This was Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker of theartfulinker.com. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card-making friends. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video. And if you're in the U.S., please do some of your shopping for stamping up products with me. Have a great day. Bye.